Welcome everyone, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and everyone from all around ages. This is Ice Misu bringing you more of Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks. <laughs> On the last episode, I managed to get to the Marine Temple. And I actually found out it's actually called the Ocean Temple for the US version for those people who are keeping up with the US version. I mean, I'm just saying. So, let's see here. Okay, some boulders we cannot cross. And some electric chill choo choo Go away. Yeah. Just like that. Bob sits the fourth. Okay. Okay, I'll write it down just in case. And in here, Bob sits the first. Um, okay, let me take off my map. Round number one. Now, this tablet, what says? Above the third. Okay. And quickly draw number three here. And I bet the other one's supposed to be the second one. I was right. So, with that, let's just draw a two. Nothing else to do. Now, the only thing that I'm a, ba I'm a bit disappointed about this temple is that there is no water involved. I mean, it's supposed to be a marine temple. You will think it has to involve with water, like the infamous water temple of Ocarina of Time, or or like the Twilight Princess, the Lake Bed Temple, but there isn't. But the boss makes it up for it, because the boss is actually pretty cool. And of course, you saw there was a crack wall, so I'll use a bomb, but can't go through there just yet. But on the top map, they, there was another entrance, so there's another breakable wall in here. So let's just wait for the bomb to explode. And there we go. And we cannot go through here either. Huh, some thorns coming out from vines. Even plant life comes, comes out from this place. Yeah, you want to turn around for these arrows if you don't want to get hurt. You don't want to be poked. It's going to be ow. And there are some force orbs here. Okay. Meaning, remember those things that we wrote down, those numbers? We got to hit them on the same order. And you don't want to hit them in the wrong order because those arrows will shoot you down and stuff. You'll be going, ah, no, don't kill me. That kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see here. Huh. And there's a switch. Okay, let's just shoot him down from here. Let's see what that happens. Because hitting that switch is going to affect the fo bottom floor. Because you just saw those boulders coming out from nowhere on the first on the first floor. So hitting the switch probably does something. Now let's just walk back then. This episode, there's going to be a lot of... A lot of coming back and stuff, cause as soon as you get the item, there's a lot of things you can do. And I probably already noticed the episode is a bit longer than usual, which I don't mind. I just don't want to make it too long either. <laughs> so let's see here. Okay, so it does affect, so we can actually cross now, and the boulder just comes out of nowhere. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Uh, okay, we can cross here, but it doesn't matter because that takes it back to the entrance. And some hearts, please. Okay, thank you. I'm actually back to full health. Now, floor two. Okay. Some choo choos, but nothing else to do. I have to leave so, because on the bottom, f just if you go a little bit here south. Yeah, we can't do nothing in there either. <laughs> You cannot tell it's on the top screen as well. <laughs> so, third floor. Let's. And I think it's an enemy room too. Ah, this mini boss. Probably one of the most troublesome mini bosses, if you ask me. Yeah, it starts out by actually grabbing you just like that. Yeah, you're pretty much helpless. Unless you time it well to swing the sword against him. And if I can get it right, and of course you probably notice you can't even use items either while you're tied up. I don't know why you should be able to, but ow. Can I, can I get at least one hit? Ah, jeez. This enemy is annoying. And it, it don't even try charging against it because he's just going to whip you back in. <laughs> it's going to whip you back to your, to your place. 
as horrible that sounds. And let me... Yeah, there we go. Die! Die! Ow. Yeah, as soon as you're free, try to make sure not to dodge his... Yeah, that. Because he's going to stun himself too, I guess, for using the whip. <laughs> and probably you have not guessed it from there on. This is probably one of my favorite items as well to use in a Zelda game. I'm not entirely sure if Skyward Sword has it. I keep hearing it because I have not played Skyward Sword. <laughs> yeah, go figure. So. You get the whip. Yeah, just bloody as it is. It's just like, it's self explanatory really. But it's pretty fun how they do the puzzles here. Uh, but now we're going to go back because there was a few things we can actually get. Like in here, for example. We go back here with a whip. Yeah, we go in Diana Jones or Tarzan, whichever you want to call it. <laughs> we get us a random treasure, in this case, a Stalful skull, which is nice. Now we head back to the first floor. Yeah, back to the first floor. There are two things we can actually get the ones right here. Yeah, you can actually pick up items. Even though it says so out there also when you as soon as you get the whip. But you can throw the items against the enemies as well or just throw it away. And here it will take us back to the entrance, but I'm not gonna do that just yet. Um let's see here. Okay. And here there's this tongue in the Sora's head. So I think that's where they are. There are those um uh, those are, what's their name? I keep forgetting. Are they Sora's? Yeah, I think they are. But in this case, they are Sora's heads. <laughs> of course, you want to go all the way back here because there is worth actually your time. Because first, of course, there is this. Oh, a pirate's necklace. How nice. Cool. But also, if you go back upstairs again to the second floor, those cracked walls, you want to come back here. Now let's get these thorns out of the way. And, okay, you want to check out the boomerang, I guess. Oh, there we go. There's that little switch. And magically, that other one just comes. That little pole, I guess, you can say. Now, let's just head back here. Just let me quickly take out my whip. And actually, well, do Indiana Jones. Yeah. <laughs> I guess Indiana Jones just because it's a whip. Opens up the setting door, and you see right there, there's a stamp station. Yeah, yeah, you want to come back for this. <laughs> now, let's just wait for this moving slow block. But yeah, stamp station 11, I believe. This is 11. Wow, nine more to go. So, that covers for the ocean temple stamp. And now we're going to go all the way back. Thank you, Whip. Uh, I don't think we have to go all the way back either. No, actually, yeah, we do. We want to go all the way to the third floor. A lot of backtracking. You ask me, but it's worth it. It's really worth it. So you can get the stretcher, get that stamp out of the way. You know, the good stuff. Because trust me, as soon as you get all the stamps, all 20, it's got to be worth your time. And it's very easy. I mean, it's not that hard. <laughs> I guess the only tedious thing is just going all the way back. And did I get this treasure? Let me see. Okay, so I did. Hmm. That was pointless. I just whip myself back in here. Then we go to the third floor. And I got this. Like, come on. Can I just at least got into the stairs? But whatever. Cannot go anywhere here. We can go over there, but I want to go up here first. Because there's one thing I want to get here. Also, with the whip, you can actually whip the enemies with it. And, of course, this teacher just takes at least two hits with it. Especially these electric ones, because, well, they're electric. You can either stun them with your boomerang, and now we have the whip. So it gives you options. Okay, I see. Take out the whip. Yeah, let me try to time this right, and yeah. 
pin. Oh, that was close. I did not want to fall and do it again. But here we get a dragon scale. Another treasure. Yeah, that's a lot of treasure in this temple, really. <laughs> and let me try to get up. Thank you. And actually, a wit makes sense than a uh, grappling hook. I mean, I can see the grappling do hook doing the swing thing just like I did on Wing Waker, but the thing is that the way, like, let's say there's a chest, and hold on, three rings, six before you grab only the one farthest from your grasp. Well, the, what they mean here is this. Let me show you in the map. You see these three paths? That one you wanna you wanna stand on, because that one's the furthest. But like I was saying, because there were things that I don't know, even know actually how it makes sense, like how you grapple yourself to a treasure chest and they just pull yourself in. I can see that as a hook shot, but it's something you don't question, I guess. <laughs> but still, does not make any sense. Not the whip, on the other hand. It could, because it's elastic. It's very elastic. So that's the idea. Now you want to pull this one, like I said earlier, because you don't want those arrows shooting you to the face. Or arrow to the knee. No! Uh, anything else? Nothing? Okay. Now back to floor 3 here. Go up here. Uh, okay. Let's see. Oh, a sword. Then you just want to shoot it to the other mouth. Pulls this two in the chest, and that pole just comes out of nowhere. And in here we get a key. Yeah, we go all the way around just to get a key. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to go. It's a puzzle game. I mean, it's adventure and a puzzle. Actually, that's what these Zelda's games all about. <laughs> now we go back up here. Of course, there's this closed door with the key. We can open up just like that. Uh, head up upstairs. Floor four. Okay. You pull this tongue, it'll give you this shortcut. This nice shortcut right here. But we don't want to take that shortcut because if we go here. Go all Indiana Jones again. There's some pots over there. If you want to replenish your, your health. And these little enemies. Eh. Just like I said earlier. You could just hit them. Throw well, throw away whatever thing they're holding on their head. It's just a helmet. They hit him back, just like that. It's not that hard. <laughs> it was too easy. That's the thing. It was too easy. Should give us more at least. <laughs> Some keys, maybe you know, you know, that kind of thing. Now floor five. Okay. Yeah, these Soros mouths here. And it's like, oh, oh no, not these guys again. No, you want to whip them if you want to stun them. No. Ow. No. Go away. You're gonna die. Ow. Seriously, I stun you. How you can just get yourself up again? I guess the stun only worked once and you cannot just keep stunning them again. Ow. Try, try this again. Go away. Go away. Go away. No. You're gonna die. You die, I smile. <laughs> Let's see here. Anything in here? No. Okay. We can actually go through here. And get this guy out of the way. Oh, look at that. What's this here? Huh. Oh, so now we can actually fly. Yeah, you want to grab this, actually. It's very important. It is obviously for a reason. Well, it's obviously important for a reason. And you don't want to let go, either. But the fact that how this mouse can sometimes fail on me... Most likely, I might not, or I might just end up falling off to my doom. No! Come on, Link, just a little bit more. There we go. Now we go here, and there's a boss room here. Ah, uh, these guys. There are two ways you can beat them. One of them is obvious, but this is another way you can just use bombs. And the one you want to do is just like that. 
pick up the saw and throw it against them. But if you ask me, I end up using the bombs instead because they were stone. I was like, okay, these just reminds me of rock choo choos. Okay, let me throw a bomb. It actually works. I don't that was I don't even know that was intentional or not, but it works. I'm not complaining. <laughs> Come on, little little airplane. No, not airplane. Helicopter. That's what it is. It's a helicopter. Now let's just go through here. No, nothing. Okay. Let me try and remember. Let's see if I can go through here and let's see what we find. Oh, ha ha! There's a statue here. Stop it. Three blades sit in a row. Retrieve them all and the path may open. Okay. So that means those three heads that has three swords, you want to retrieve them just like it says. So let's take them out of their mouths. Number one, number two, and number three. Haha, -ha, so that's what you're supposed to do. But it wouldn't be pointless if you didn't got the key in the first place. I think that's what, it, that's what I got, a key? Eh, don't even remember either. <laughs> Oh wait, you had to come back because there were these um, that one pole that you needed to pull well to open up. So it was important going through that one room, you know, the one with the rock choo choos. Now floor six. Let me try this. One, two, three, four, and five. There we go. That one's actually can be very tricky to catch. And thanks, game. Thanks. That's that's. Uh, but like I was saying, that one, the one that is very lower than the o the other ones, it's all timing, so it's, 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 yeah, it's gonna hurt you a lot of times just to try to get it. Remember the placement of the blades. The knowledge may prove useful in another similar room. Oh, this room reminds you to floor 5 or, yeah, floor 5 or floor 6, so that one has a sword. Those three doesn't have swords, so. You want to write this down, really. <laughs> Let's see here. And... Ooh, bombs. But... Get this out of the way. The same thing in this part. With the Sora's mouth. Let me hit the choo-choo out of the way. Just quickly, quickly. Okay, these three don't have swords at all. So that means we're going to get these guys out of the way as well. Anything in here? Aha, there's something in here. Let's get these these thorns out of the way. Pull this tongue out and opens up a hidden treasure chest. Cool. Probably some treasure, some random treasure. But hey, it doesn't hurt to collect them, really. But before I do that, let's see here. Okay. These, that one doesn't, that one has a sword. This one doesn't, that one does. Just like that. Get this drop choo choo out of the way. Get the whip. So we can grab on that pole and get another treasure. And here we get a key, which is really important. Swim back. Get the other one that I just opened it up. And probably just some random treasure, like I said earlier. Okay, okay, a white power loom. That's nice. Just keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. And we're gonna retrace back all the way back to the floor five. And there's a reason why you wanna get those clues, the ones with the which ones has the sword, which is they don't have a sword in their mouths. There is a reason why. Back to our floor floor five. More Indiana Jones or Tarzan, whichever. I think I was thinking more of Tarzan really. <laughs> Indiana Jones I can see because it's the whip. Now we're gonna get this. Let me get check my floor six just to remember. Okay. So take that sword. Let me. That's not what I wanted, but let's try this again. Up. Oh. That. There we go. Get that one. Put up. I said put on the other mouth. There we go. Now let's try these right here. Get that one. Put it in there as well. Now let's see these three here, just like we did before. Let's take them out of their mouths. No, I did not want to grab it. There we go. 
and then this one let's get that one and put them in the other mouth and there we go it opens up this hidden door well not hidden door this door because we could not able to cross without that door well open being open of course use the key to open up the door and not fall off to your doom either why don't I take out the whip and cross there we go now back to floor 6 which will take us to the boss key if you have not noticed on your top screen now okay there we go just get on the hop uh, the helicopter and trying to time your fall on the stage on that moving block huh, that came out pretty well than I expected now let's just hit this switch and now we can cross with the key and I hope there are no master hands either and I just had to open my mouth Ugh. these master hands are can be very very annoying and let me throw this cat away and ah well that was annoying jeez they can hit hard but yeah that's what happens right there just the master and just takes the key back to the same place where you found it which can be very tedious and later on temples now let's try this again okay let me stun this guy out of the way there's no point even killing because they just respawn back but just like that the boss key inside and we're almost close to the boss guys but this will be it for this episode right so next time not to fall off on the, on the pit so next time on Legend Zelda Spirit Tracks I'm gonna defeat the boss of the Ocean Temple right this is Isamisu nice saying let me get these spikes out of the way and I'll see you guys later